today I'm going to be filming my breeches collection because I just finished with laundry and they're all clean and I've been looking forward to doing this video for a while so I'm really excited to show you guys all of my breeches. Um, realistically, I don't usually even ride in riding pants. Um, I wear jeans because I usually have barn chores to do um, either right before or right after I ride but Sometimes I do ride in breeches or riding pants, so that's why I don't have, I guess, as many as some people, but I have collected over the years um, a few pairs. So the first pair I have, these actually aren't even breeches, they're just riding tights. They're from Iridian, um, and they just are like really basic. I think they're the essential riding tights. Um, and they're just really basic. They have a knee patch and the gripper elastic at the bottom, which I really don't like because it irritates my skin, but they're still really good for like summertime. Um, definitely wouldn't wear these to like a lesson or anything, but just for like trail riding or casual riding around the farm, they're really nice. Okay. And then the next pair that I have are from Carrots, and these are the, I think they're called the Crossover um, breeches, and they are full seat, and it's this like perforated sticky material, um, and they have sort of a sock bottom, and these are the most uncomfortable pair of riding pants I own. Like they look pretty good on, but this material just traps so much heat, yet is also freezing cold in the winter. Um, the waistband on me gaps really badly, um, and they also like bind in the knee area. Um, so I guess these just don't work that well for my body type. So if you are considering the carrots crossover, um, you may just want to try them on before you buy them to see if they work for you because they definitely don't really work for me but I still have them and I still wear them. <laughs> and then this next pair is actually my newest pair. Um, they're from Smart Pack and they're the Piper, Piper, Piper Knit um, breeches and they have the sticky like silicon knee patch and they also have a sock bottom and these are really nice material it's like a heavy knit like yoga pants type material um, and they're super comfortable they have a euro seat they're very flattering um, I've only worn them once or twice so we'll see how they hold up but so far I've really enjoyed these and I did write a review of them on the blog so I'll link that down below. Um, and these are from John Field. Um, these are a very old pair. They're just knee patch and they have Velcro um, and they're this kind of ribbed fabric, which is okay, I guess. Um, Sometimes I wear them in the winter with like leggings underneath and like if I know I'm going to be doing barn chores before or after, sometimes I wear these because they're just an older pair but I really prefer to wear jeans because they're more comfortable. Um, and then these ones are from Buckwild breeches. This is like kind of a newer brand. I got them when they first came out and they were on sale and they have a zebra full seat. Um, and I got these for trail riding because I thought it would be nice to stand out in case my horse like dumps me down a ravine somewhere. Um, then someone can find me. The only thing about these is the rise is really high and like I'm not that short waisted and these like come almost past my belly button. Um, I think they do have like different rises now. So this is another pair that I would definitely, if you were thinking about getting these, 
find a way to try them on before you order them for yourself um, because this waist is so high like they're just not that comfortable for me but I still wear them sometimes and then I have two pairs of the tailored sportsman's um, these are, I think, the older pair. They have the more, like, kind of twill, like, khaki, two-way stretch material. Um, and they're Velcro bottoms, like most tailoreds. Um, and they're a little darker color than my other pair. Um, and they have nice pockets. I wear these. I bought them for fox hunting, but I don't, haven't really been fox hunting in a while. Um... I wear them to lessons, um, or if I'm going to like a paper chase and I want to look a little nicer um, with like side zips and a belt and a polo shirt, um, and they are very comfortable as well. And then this is my newer pair of tailored sportsmen's. They're also side zip, and they're in the like four-way stretch kind of like slicker material um, and they have also velcro um, I don't know a lot of people don't like the velcro they prefer sock bottoms but I actually prefer the velcro because I find it's easier to get on and off um, and then this is the f I've had these since I was like 14 years old tough riders these are like the first pair of breeches I think I ever owned. Um, they're just full seat. They're like that ribbed fabric, which I don't really like because I think it's uncomfortable. Um, and they have Velcro. I don't really wear these anymore. I should probably put them on consignment. And then the last pair are a winter pair. And they're from Romp. Um, and I was so excited to find these because it took me forever to find a pair of tan um, breeches for fox hunting in like a winter fabric. And these are just so nice. Um, they're like fleecy on the inside. And then they have a Euro seat. Um, and they have really nice pockets. And they have the Velcro and they're really warm oh and they have a, a knee patch too and they're really warm and I love them so I think that is all of my breeches um, I do have a couple more pairs of winter ones um, I have the sticky seat tights which I love I wrote a review of those um, on the blog so I'll link that down below those are my like go-to winter riding pants and also, they're great for chores, um, so I definitely recommend those if you want to check them out. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!